Okay guys, so I wanted to go over this, forgive my uh, kind of a cluttered setup right now, I'm in the process of doing some shifting around for my um, gaming slash uh, movie type stuff, so we're just kind of got things in a cluster here, but anyway, uh, I just got the Nintendo Switch 2 uh, on release day, and didn't actually set it up to my TV first because I was streaming some stuff, so I actually connected it to my computer, had no issues whatsoever connecting it, but... Uh, then last night I tried to connect it to my TV so I could play in my room for a little while and it was just giving me a black screen. I could hear things, but it was only giving me a black screen. I couldn't see anything, but as you can see, it's on my TV now. Um, could not figure out what the problem was. Tried every freaking thing you could think of that made normal sense. I tried the, uh, Nintendo Switch 1 options even just to see if maybe that would work. It did not. So I decided to do, uh, one at a time changes uh, on here because when you're in handheld mode you cannot change the TV resolution it tells you to change the resolution to lower it you can't do it in handheld which means you would have to connect it to a completely different TV then when you disconnect it um, it most likely will go back which is what was happening to me so it was it was a big problem so what I figured out is that um, I tried turning HDR off that did not change anything um, I couldn't change the TV resolution um, People were talking about doing, you know, changing this stuff up. I did not have to change that. But let me show you what I did change. So everything on here is exactly as it came, okay? But when I changed the HDR output from all software to compatible software only, magically it worked. So, um, because if you read it, it says outputs HDR video for all selected software. Uh, when the, uh, for all software options selected, all software will use HDR. When the compatible software only option is selected, only games that support HDR will use HDR output. So basically, it it's uh, allowing it to uh, only use it when necessary. So try using this and see if it fixes your display issues. Um, if not, then uh, maybe just go through each one of these one at a time and shut, uh, turn them off and see if that works for you. And then you can go from there. Um, where the uh, TV resolution issue comes in, my understanding is that if you have it blinking in and out, uh, things like that, that it may be having trouble uh, keeping up and you may need to reduce your TV resolution. But uh, this is what worked for me, guys. So uh, just make sure you change the HDR output to compatible software only, and it should hopefully work for you, okay?